Where's my camera? Oh, there you are. Now I've just woken up and it's occurred to me there's one thing I haven't shared and that's my morning routine. But there's one thing in particular that I do every morning and that's deal with this condensation on the glass. Because this moisture on the glass can cause damp in your van and it can cause mould which then can cause lung infections. <coughs> oh, I've literally just woke up. I need a coffee. I'm just gonna make a coffee and I'll be right back. <coughs> So one of the biggest problems of uh, van life, especially in the winter time, is condensation. If condensation builds up into your van and damp gets into your bedding or in your clothes, it's just horrible. It just feels horrible, all that dampness. And the real, real bad thing is if it does get into your bedding and into your mattress, the chances are you're going to get black mould build up in your mattress or even build up in your insulation if you haven't got an in insulation barrier. Um, the worst thing you want in your van is black mould and the reason for this is because that those black mould spores get into the air that you're breathing and eventually that's going to end up in your lungs and you will end up with a lung infection and trust me once you get that lung infection things are never the same again i got infected last year last winter i got a really bad lung infection and i'm still not right now and at the time it was terrifying i had antibiotics I had all sorts of drugs getting pumped into me to try and get rid of this infection in my lungs and I was terrified I thought I was dying and even now I'm still not right I can still feel this weird feeling in my lungs I just know things aren't right so uh, yeah condensation is a real big thing for me to try and get rid of it and try and minimize it as much as possible and as you can see I've got glass all around my van and condensation is attracted to glass. Well, for me, I don't think that's a bad thing because at least you know where it's going and you can get rid of it. You can get it off your glass rather than it getting in your bedding, getting in your clothes, getting in your walls. It's all attracted to your glass. So uh, all we've got to do is get rid of it. Now, one way I do minimise that condensation is by using this little gadget down here, which I've only just brought this, by the way, and uh, let me show you. I think it's terrific. So I'll start by showing you this, and then I'll show you my front windscreen. Well, hang on, let me show you the front windscreen first. We'll scrap that idea. Look at this. So there's my front windscreen. I'll show you how I'll get rid of all that in a minute. First of all, let's take a look at this little gadget down here. So this is my dehumidifier. Now the remarkable thing about this little dehumidifier, apart from the fact that it actually works, as you can see, this is from last night. Oh, actually, two nights. I didn't empty it last night, so that's two nights worth in there. But like I say, the other remarkable thing about this, other than it actually does work, is it runs off of USB. And I run this off of my power oak. And the reason I do that is because I don't want to run down my nice new batteries. And Bob's very kind to let me take this power oak into the house during the day. I charge it up. Then at night I use the power oak to power my dehumidifier. <laughs> it does actually work. I was a bit sceptical whether or not it would work. Because it only runs off a of USB. But um, yeah, as you can see it does work really well. Really pleased with that. So that's one way I'll keep my condensation down is by using a USB dehumidifier. But here's a real neat trick. Look at this gadget I've got up the front. <laughs> Talking of gadgets, it was Gadget John that recommended this. Have a look at this. So here we are at the front of my van in the cab, and uh, you can't see because you ran the wrong way. <laughs> Well, take a look at this. This is worse than I thought it would be, actually. I'm quite surprised. Well, actually, no, I'm quite pleased how bad this is because it gives you a, gives me a chance to demonstrate this great gadget that I've brought. And this is a carcature, a carcher window vacuum. 
And what this does is it vacuums the moisture off the glass. I'll try and do this one-handed. It does take a little bit of a technique to use this, I've discovered. Um, you have to sweep it up like that and then tip it upside down and wait for the water to go down inside. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. But I've got to say, this thing is a real game changer. It really does give me the confidence that I'm not going to get too much moisture in my van over the winter period because this just gets rid of it. I'll show you this. Let's give it a good sweep. Just watch this. You can see the water running down inside the vessel. But yeah, it takes a bit of a technique. At first, when I first got it, I was just going up and up like this and water was going everywhere. But you do need to kind of sweep it up and then tip it up like that and then let the water fill inside the uh, chamber, the container. Like this, and you can see it running down the front. So every morning I do this, every morning, this is my every morning routine to clean all my the water off the front. Try and get right down in there as well, right along the bottom. Look at that, unbelievable. Look, it's on the second mark already. Now the side windows I'll do as well. Same thing. And you'll notice I've got my windows open a little bit at the top. So, these side windows I'll start here and I'll go up to that corner. It's a bit difficult really. Doing, this, doing it a bit cack handed. Just change hands. That's better. Like I say, this thing is unbelievable. Anyone that lives in their van during the winter time needs to get one of these. Once again, I want to say thank you to Gadget John for recommending this to me. I really appreciate it, mate. Hopefully with this in my arsenal of uh, tackling condensation, I won't get sick this year. So that's the front done. Now what I've got to do is the back as well. So now I've done the front, I simply do these as well. Look at that. It is incredible. Now unfortunately this is a little bit too big to do my side windows at the back so to do the side windows I simply use a towel. Also it's a good idea to go around the outside with a towel just to get rid of anything. I really do try and get rid of as much moisture as I possibly can out of my van. There you are, look at that, look how much water is in this. Now normally I would just tip this out in, into the road, but today I'm going to tip it into a cup just to see how much we've collected. I was about to empty it and then it occurred to me. There we go. So this is all off my front windscreen and my side screen.
imagine that working its way into your bedding. It's about half inch deep. It's a bit dirty. That's <laughs> going in the sink. Now, for those of you that are interested, I'll put both these products in my Amazon storefront and the link for that you can find in the description of this video. I do hope you found this video useful, mildly entertaining. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good day. ta for now. So how do we tackle condensation? It's quite simple. Well, it's not simple. It's quite difficult, actually. To be honest, it's a pain in the heart.